Stand God in this house. The holy angels. Oh God, stand against every principality, every power, every evil force. In the name of Jesus, you've given us power of all the powers of the enemy. We come to walk in that authority. We come today to walk in that authority. We come that your word might be preached. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel, Lord. I'm just a vessel. But I come in the name of Jesus. I come to stand firm. I come to preach the word of God through the power of the Holy Ghost that men would be saved. Oh God, the bound would be set free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, that the saints would be strengthened in the name of Jesus. That the joy of the Lord would be restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And glory to his name. Yeah, yeah, yes, he came. He lived. He died. He got up with all power in his hand. Do you know about that? Oh, are you familiar with that? Hey, does he live in your life? Hey, have you been transformed? Have you been renewed? Do you know him? Do you know him? Go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Your will be done today. Your kingdom come. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we will give you praise, and we will give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. We're going to hang right in there. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Dr. Pam, two Sundays ago, talked about the miracles, signs, and wonders. Yeah, we're going to hang right there. Because if you can believe, you can receive. If you can believe the word of God, you can receive. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He'll never change. He said, I'll put my word above myself. And if you get serious, Teresa, about finding me and put it above everything else, Terry, he said, I won't let you be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, Tiffany, he said, I won't let you be disappointed. Yeah, 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 I won't let you be disappointed. Glory to God. I will perform my word. Yes, 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 yes. So be open to believe. Be open to receive. It can happen right in your seat. According to your faith. Be it unto you. According to your faith. Be it unto you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You could uh, probably go ahead and... Uh, Fast your seat there, since maybe some turbulence in the air. Yeah, maybe some turbulence in the air. You never can tell. Never can tell. Glory. Hallelujah. I'll read my subject before, but before I read these scriptures, they'll make more sense to you. We got to do a lot of groundwork to get to this subject, but. We have to do the groundwork to get there. But you just hang in there. We're going to use for our subject today. What effect, what effect has the resurrected Christ had upon your life? Hmm. What effect has the resurrected Christ had upon your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows. Well, in the most in America would say he got up. They'll say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. They'll rejoice along with you. But what happened since then? What happened since then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What effects has the resurrected Christ had upon your life? Okay, we're gonna read a little bit here. 
begin with Matthew 28. Matthew 20. Yeah, everybody like this scripture, so we read it for your, on your, for your benefit. Matthew 28, 6 says, He's not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Yeah, come see the place. Yeah, yeah. We have, well, the Kenny, didn't, Kenny, Kenny went to the wife that he's not here, but uh, yeah, but at least three witnesses in the house that visited the tomb. He's not there, Dad. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. We went there and looked. With our own eyes, he was not there. He got up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goes before you into Galilee. There you shall see him. Lo, I have told you. Yeah, 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 I've told you. Yeah, he's risen, as he said. The next verse is Matthew 28, 18 through 20. 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came. This is after resurrection, y'all. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and know I'm with you, Lord, I'm with you, always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Can't get no better than that, y'all. Can't get no better than that. I'm with you, always, even, 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 even to the end. Hey, glory to the work of the world. With you, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. It may get tough sometimes, but he said, I'll be with you. But McLean, he said, I'll be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, the, when the grandkids don't understand, he's he going to walk with you. I know you get tired sometimes, but he's going to walk with you. I know sometimes your relatives don't understand, but he's going to walk with you. He's going to walk with you. He's going to walk with you. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Philippians 2.8. Philippians 2, 8. Philippians 2 8. <clears throat> And being found in fashion as a man. Jesus is talking about Jesus. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Uh -huh. He did that for you, y'all. He did that for you. Wherefore, God has highly, highly exalted him, that's God the Father, and given him a name which is above every name. Yeah, all names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and what you, what, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? He says here that at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, hey, at the name of Jesus, every knee, this needs to come down a little, I think. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things in earth, and things under the earth. That every tomb should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I, no, I think I better read it on. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out 
your own salvation with trembling and fear. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What effect has the resurrected Christ had upon your life? You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. What a fix, what a fix, what a fix. As I said earlier, that most people will agree that he got up. Yeah, yeah, we sang that song. He got up. He got up. So that's just the foundation. Yeah, yeah, that's the foundation. That's most important, that he got up. But if you stop there, you could still be in a bad place. Amen. Because you have to develop a relationship. You have to believe all that he has done for you. You have to believe and you have to receive. We said believe means adhere to, confide in, rely upon. Yeah, amplify. So you have to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. He is the Christ, the Son of God. It, it, the scripture teaches that by one man's sin, which was Adam, we all became sinners. And by one man, Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, by his righteousness, yeah, we can all be saved and have a relationship with God. Yes, God, in the midst of all that's going on in this sin-sick world, we can have a relationship with God and joy can flow in us and through us and we can make a difference in a sin sick world because he lives. Hallelujah. Because he lives. Because he lives. Everything that you can possibly experience in life, Jesus already tested out. He tested it. He knows what it's like. He knows how you feel when you are having difficult time, difficult experiences. When you're experiencing things that you have never experienced before, Jesus has already been there, babe. So don't, don't, don't get too bent out of shape. Just believe and keep walking by faith. Amen. It's important, important that you have faith in God. He said, without faith, Brother Johnson, you can't please him. You can't please him without faith. So you need to develop your faith. You know, in the Bible we find where it said there was little faith. Yeah, little faith. More mature faith. Then there was strong faith. So the door is open. Where, where do you want to stop? Or where do you want to go? Do you want strong faith in these last and even days? Yeah, yeah, that you'll be willing to lay down your life because you know there's something better in store. You know, how, 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 how transformed are you? How transformed are you? God the Father said, I've delivered you out of darkness and I'll transform you into the kingdom of my dear son. That's for those that believe and receive. Yeah, yeah, you can be transformed into the kingdom of his dear son and began to grow, began to flow, began to be a good example to the world. Somebody's got to be an example to the world, to the world, to the world. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody has to be an example for the, to, for the world. Jesus has already 
experienced everything that you can go through in life. You've already experienced it. So we're going to share some of the things that he went through in life so that well, let me just let me just go back and, and touch on this just a little bit. You know, he, he said that every knee would bow and every tongue would confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, you can you can do it now and you can do it later. But you will have to confess that he's Lord. Amen. So it would be better to confess him now. It would be better to do it now. Because if you do it now, praise God, when uh, you get resurrected or whatever, uh, or, or caught up, you will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That's a good thing. You appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And uh, it's not to determine, if, if you're in that group, it's not to determine whether you're going to be saved or lost. If you show up in that group, you know you're saved. Yeah, that's just to give out some rewards. Yeah, it's, it's to determine whether you are going to be working in the parking lot or you're going to be standing with Jesus, saying, uh, standing with him when he, when he come back in his kingdom. Yes, Lord God. Yeah, I'm with you, God. I'll say amen to everything he's saying. But if you're out in the parking lot, you may not hear, you may not hear out there what he's saying. Yeah, so it determines. Uh, yeah, if you're in that first resurrection, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be judged uh, uh, about what, according to what you did. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But you'll get in. You'll get in. You'll definitely get in. But if you're not in that group, then there is another group. Glory to God. It's called the Great White Throne. The Great White Throne. And that group, praise God, you're judged and you're tossed into the lake of fire. There was not, it was, it, that wasn't, you weren't supposed to end up there, but you could. That's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, every knee going to bow, every knee. Nobody going to be excused. As I said that, that, that no excuse would stand up. I'm just going to share some of the things that he went through on your behalf because, you know, you know, people start throwing out excuses. I would have, but, Lord, you just know what I've been going through. Yeah, I, I used to go worship with the folks, but I, oh, it's just too much going on. Oh, yeah, yeah them, some of them folks out there act worse, act worse than I do. I just, I'm just going to stay at home by myself. I ain't going to bother nobody. Don't nobody bother me. I ain't going to bother nobody. I'm just going on in by myself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was not. God's intent for any of you to show up at the great white throne because the word said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And God is so loving, so loving, so kind. God that knows everything, sees everything, has power over everything. God the Father has power over everything. And he knew there was a possibility that, that Adam could mess up. But, you know, he, 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 he's, a, he's, he's foreseeing, and he, he prepared for everything. The Bible said Christ was as a lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the foundation of the world. So, so God, the Father, made preparation that if Adam messed up, praise God, you know, that that, 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 that was a, a chance for to be redeemed. Bible said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. In other words, sin can't be moved unless the blood is shed. That's why he made aprons and uh, killed the lamb and made aprons for, 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 for Adam, praise God, and the sons all them. He prepared, he covered. This was a type of Jesus that would come and die for your sin. The, 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 the bulls and the goats, praise God, that was just a, that was a type, a shadow. Yeah, yeah, for what Jesus, for Jesus to, to come, but later on, he would come and die for your sins, that you could have life, and that more abundantly. 
So don't, 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 don't just stop before he got up. Yeah, yeah there's something you must do. On, there is something that you must do. And if I put a little emphasis on that, because we are in the end time. Yeah, we are in the end time. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And the Bible says in Timothy, there would be, yeah, I'm just going as the Lord lead. There would be a falling away. Now, you can't fall if you weren't never there. I can't fall off this stage standing down there. But if I'm up here, there's a possibility. I could fall off the stage. Hey, glow. I believe the Lord's going to help me. I, I believe, I believe, I believe that he's going to help me today. Praise God. He said that would be a falling away. So, so you, 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 can't, you can't be casual, Christian. You can't just be casual, you know. Some of us don't want to get too involved, you know. We still got, we still got uh, some, some stuff hanging on that we want to hold on to. Yeah, we want, we want to hold on to. Well, well, the Lord knows my heart. Yep, I agree 100%. The Lord knows your heart. Yeah, yeah, he knows your heart. Yeah, he, he knows your intentions. He knows what you're planning on doing tomorrow. He knows. He knows. He knows. I'm glad you showed up today, though. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah. I prayed. I prayed. I asked God and God to speak. Lord, you, you know, you know the desires of my heart, Lord. I'm going to speak to your people now. Now, I know God wants y'all to hear the word, right? And I'm praying, I prayed and asked him, Lord, let me speak to your people. Use me, no, you use me through the power of the Holy Ghost to speak to your people. God loves you that much that he will speak to your hearts. Yeah. So you can be transformed or you can be renewed or you can get a clear picture of what you ought to be about. But you won't keep making excuses. Yeah, yeah, keep making excuses because cause Satan, he has some too, you know. Yeah, he, he, will, he will plant stuff in your heart. If you allow it, it, it starts in the mind. But as soon as it hits the mind, you're supposed to rebuke it. As soon as it hits your mind, if it's not of God, you rebuke Satan, the blood of Jesus against you. I take authority over you in Jesus' name. You have no right. No right, no right to be in my mind. No, no, I've been transformed. I've been made new. I'm laying aside every sin, every weight, anything that beset me. I want to lay it aside because I want to be like Jesus. I know this is not the end. I know there is, this is just what we prepare to live, y'all. These 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years that we have, 120 maybe for some of us, this is what we prepare to live, y'all. Did you know it, there's no end to eternity? There's no end to eternity. It's going to be hell or heaven. Hell, they both start with H, y'all. One is a place of peace. The other is a place of heart tormenting. Tormenting. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, but Jesus provided salvation for us, and he made it clear so we would not uh, uh, be making a lot of excuses. So we would not be making a lot of excuses. So one of the things the Bible says that he was despised. He was despised. It said to look down upon disrespect. Look down upon with disrespect. Now so many people, now you may be somebody that may be somebody here that that that, that have been despised, you know, yeah, been talked about, looked down upon with disrespect. Yeah, yeah, you may have experienced that. Let me, let me read here what they said about Jesus here. He said, in, Ma in Matthew 13, 55, he said, Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not this his mother called Mary? And his brother, James, Joaz, Simon, Judas? I thought, it is, not, is this not uh, Jesus' relative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they passed by and raised them, wagging, this is another scripture, wagging their heads and saying, Ah, thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days. Let's see what happened to him, you know. Yeah, let, let's see. Let's see if he, if he talked about he can build a temple, praise God, in three days. Let's see now. He's on the cross now. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to do about this. Let's see. Let's see. They, they, they ought to have been crying and giving God praise, praise God, that he was there, died for the sin. But they there to despise, to look down upon, disrespect. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
save yourself. Come down from that cross. If you say who you are, if you are who you say you are, then come down. Come down. If you can build a temple in three days, surely you can come down from that cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe his father, he said his father had all this power. Well, where's his father? Is his father here? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what's going on? Why don't his father hear him now and take him down from this cross? Save yourself. Come down from the cross. Glory to God. And the Pharisees also, praise God, who were uh, uh, covetous, heard all these things, praise God, and they despised him also. Glory to God. They despised him. Many of them said, Hath he a devil? Is he mad? Why hear ye him? All these things happen unto him. They despise him. Glory to God. Let me see. That was another scripture here. But I, I, I can't move on because I got a lot to cover. Praise God. But anyway, that's one thing. They despised him. They looked down upon him. And some of you are, praise God, at a place, a bit at a place where, praise God, somebody looked down upon you. Somebody thought you was less than somebody else. But because Jesus was stood, Jesus went to some, the same thing, praise God. And so he, he may allow you to go through this so that when you come out of this, you can tell somebody else that's going through that same thing. Praise God. Hey, God will bring you through. God knows how you feel because they did him the same way. So don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there. Hallelujah. Believe God. Jesus, I know you know what I'm feeling because you went through the same thing. I want to be delivered. I want to be healed. I want to be whole. I want to be a representative for you. Oh, to God. Hallelujah. They despised him. Not only that, praise God, but he was humiliated. He was humiliated. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 died, said, and he made his grave with the weak and with the rich and his death because he had done no violence, neither within the seat found in him. Not only that, y'all, but they crucified him between two thieves. The Son of God crucified between two thieves. They humiliated him. They humiliated him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. And when, like I said, you know, everything that possible you could go through, Jesus already been through. When he was born, praise God, they had went to uh, Jerusalem up there to pay the taxes, I believe it was Jerusalem, pay the taxes, Judea somewhere there, to pay their taxes, praise God. And Mary was with child, almost ready to be delivered, but they had to get up there to Caesar and pay the taxes, praise God. And praise God, when they got there, the time came, praise God, for her to give birth, praise God. But the Bible said there was no room in the inn. Some of you have had those kind of experiences where you went somewhere to check in, but they didn't, you weren't allowed to check in. Humiliation. Humiliation. Looking at you funny. Praise God. But don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck there. You can, all, you can just say, greater yeah. is he that's in me that he that's in the world. Yeah. Glory, glory. You need that. You need that. You need that fire in your belly. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. So they, they had to go to the barn, y'all. Jesus was born in the barn. The barn. Like I say, no matter where, what, what happened in your life, Jesus already experienced it. Yeah, the feeding trough, praise God. They said they, 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 they wrapped him in swaddling clothes. And Brother McLean, I, I don't know, I can't be 100% on this, praise God. But I know you know about the croaker sack, right? Croaker sack, yeah, yeah. We would get different kinds of, of feed in the croaker sack. It, it was a, kind of like a mesh. Now, I can't be 100% but this is very possible what they wrapped him in, the swaddling clothes. Yeah, swaddling clothes. So no matter, no matter how low you are, how low you have been, praise God, God might have suffered to be. But whatever, how low you are, Jesus has been there, praise God. He knows how you feel. He's ready today to lift you out of that place. I say he's ready today to lift you out of that place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They humiliated him. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, God, he was humiliated. Not only that, 
but he was rejected. Now, a lot of y'all experienced that one. A lot of you all have experienced rejection. Many of you have experienced rejection. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isaiah 53.3 says he was despised. He was rejected of men. A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. And we hear that our faith is from him. He was despised. And we esteemed him not. Oh, so many, so many. My heart cries out, praise God, for those that's been rejected. Because you, if you stay in that place, you'll never be able to worship God in the fullness. Because when that rejection is there, Satan's going to bring it up. You know. You know what they did to you. You know what they called you. You know, you know, you know, your, your daddy said you would never be nothing. Yeah, <clears throat> your dad said. You would never be nothing. He left home. He divorced his wife, which was your mom, praise God, and got his hat and left you in a rejected place. I've heard young men, even in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the father-son meeting that we had, uh, breakfast that we had, praise God, praise God. I mean, somebody brought, brought it to the surface and said, praise God, hallelujah, I was rejected. My father left the home. My parents got divorced. And I feel like, praise God, it was because of me. Glory, 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 glory. That's not a good place. But you don't have to stay there. I say you don't have to stay there. Jesus was rejected, y'all. He was rejected. He knows how you feel. He knows how you feel. I can recall some two, three years ago that we were doing something and I had this man to come to the altar and I gave him this big hug as a father. And that day I began to see changes in his life. I've been seeing changes in his life, praise God. I could go back many, many years with Brother, Brother Johnson. I know what he was like in his young days. I knew some of the things he went through in his young days. I had a relationship with his mom, but praise God, every time Brother Johnson sees me, he give me a bad hug. Yeah, yeah, he give me a, a bad hug. But I'm still here, y'all. He didn't, he, he didn't take all my breath out. Yes, hallelujah. Life can be beautiful. We was meant to love and be loved. Since this pandemic, we've been on, I see people, I meet them in different places, praise God. And sometimes the couple say, can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Oh, yes, we was meant to love and be loved. You've heard me say many times, praise God, that, that I believe, I think I've even heard other people stated that if a child is born, nobody touched that child, that child will die. Because we are meant to love and be loved. The first thing a mama does when that baby is cleaned up, she put him in her chest and holds him. Because that's what he used to in the mother's womb. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, go. You can be healed sitting there in that pew. Praise God. You can forgive those people that hurt you. Get rid of that rejection right there sitting in your pew. You just got to believe and see. God, I forgive those people that hurt me. I forgive those people that hurt me. I don't want to be here. I want to be whole. I want to be able to worship God in spirit and in truth. I want the joy of the Lord to be expressed on my face and through my being. Oh, yes, yes. That's good preaching, y'all. That's good preaching. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes, somebody is experiencing rejection. Experiencing rejection. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Experiencing rejection. Glory to God. What did Jesus, what did he do for us? What did he do for us? The Bible says he came into the world and he took on our likeness. Yes, yes, yes. Because, because Adam had, had messed up, praise God. Praise God, he messed up. Praise God. And we was all, all we were born sinners. So boy, now, that don't seem fair. It don't seem fair. But if you look at the other side, you know, the coin has two sides. So if you look at the other side of the coin, praise God, Jesus came and just did the, did the opposite. Praise God. He talked in the Corinthians about him being the second Adam. 
Yeah, yeah. He came and fixed everything. One man, he says, through one man, all became sinners, and through Christ, we all can become righteous. So like I say again, you're going to be without excuse. Every knee going to bow, every tongue going to confess. And you can't go, go, go telling him about all these things you mentioned about uh, humiliation and uh, a rejection and, uh, and mocking, oh, praise God. I didn't deal with the mocking, praise God, praise God. But all of these things, praise God, that you have faced in life, when you stand before Jesus, praise God, they won't stand up. They won't stand up because Jesus has experienced, praise God, everything that you can experience. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible said he was whipped, praise God. He was whipped for your transgression, praise God, praise God. And by his stripes, it says you are healed. You're already healed. You just got to believe and receive it. Yeah, he wounded for our transgressor, but you got to believe it and receive it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am whole today. All the tests came out good, y'all. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole because I believe the word of God. Hey, I, I can run the aisle now, y'all. Yeah, I can run the aisle. That was a little while there. I thought better not run the aisles. The breath wasn't a little short there for a minute. But I'm whole today, y'all. Hey, if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Hey, glory, ain't nobody here. But I feel good in my sanctified soul. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. He came, he lived, he died for our sins. Praise God. Let me just flip over to Philippians and read that, y'all, for you again. Yeah, Philippians. Let me read that to you. Philippians 2, praise God. Well, one thing he said, well, first, he said that you could have uh, the mind of Christ. That's big, y'all. You can think like Jesus. That's Philippians uh, 2, 2, 2, 5. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to, think, you don't have to be thinking all that garbage. Yeah, if you don't, if you know, you know, you know, you know that old saying about you are what you eat. So whatever you feed on, that's what you're gonna be. What you feed on, man. And I've been, I just been feeding on the word. I've been spending more time. And for you know, I thought years ago I was praying, but man, for I spend much more time now. I know some of y'all have to go to work, but it's part of my work is to pray. That's part of my work. On my face before the Lord, crying out, hallelujah, for this generation. Oh, God, save, heal, deliver. Save, heal, deliver, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you told me to trust in the Lord with all of my heart, not to lean to my own understanding. You told me knowledge you in all of my ways. You would direct my path. Now, he's too loving. He's too kind not to do that. Praise God. And David said, Lord, he leadeth in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Sometimes I may not measure up, but McLean, he's going to go ahead and do it. He, called, he said, my name's at stake here. My name's at stake. I'm going to go ahead and give him an A plus in the house. Yeah, yes, yeah, his name. Hey, glory. His name is at stake, praise God. Okay, this is what Jesus did. This is what he did. You know, he said it, he thought it not Robert to be equal with the Father. Yeah, he was equal with God. He was equal with God the Father before he came here, y'all. But he came and took on our life. You see, he had to become a man. He was totally a man, but yet he was God too. But you see, uh, Lucifer took the dominion from a man. It wouldn't have been fair for him to just snatch it back and give it back to man. He had to go through the process. A man... Uh, 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 Satan, Lucifer took it from a man, praise God, so a man had to take it back. You hear me say, everything Jesus did, he did it through the power of the Holy Ghost. Acts 10, 38 says how Jesus went about doing good, healed the law, pressed to the devil, through the power of the Holy Ghost. What if he did? He did it through the power of the Holy Ghost. You have that same Holy Ghost. Yeah, you've got it. It's there. He wants you to use it. You've been empowered. He said, give your power over all the powers of the enemy. Sisters and brothers, it's time to rise to the occasion. It's time to be about our father's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ought to get joy out of crushing Satan under your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, where, go where and demonstrate it on some ground where you can hear the crushing. Yeah, Satan, Satan, tell Satan, you are a defeated foe. You don't have, I, I, some, some fool may be afraid to tell him that. But I'm not afraid. Satan, you are defeated. You're defeated for. 
You have no power. You are defeated. Glory to God. I pray there's nobody in the house today that's weak enough to let Satan borrow your body. You know, in the natural realm, sometimes, you know, the relatives will come. Can I use your car today? <laughs> Can I use your car today? And they may bring it back and they may not. I know, I, I remember one time I let this dude use my car. And some of y'all know him, that Maurice guy. Y'all know him, some of y'all know The one that robbed my house. And, uh, and uh, I let him use the car. And I found it the next day up here on 8th Street. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he was, but the car was up on 8th Street. So, so that Satan, Satan wants to borrow your body. He, ain't got, he don't have a body. Even, even in the garden, he had to, he, had to, he had to work through Satan to talk to Eve. So come, come to yourself. Don't let Satan be talking through you. He ain't got no business in your life, nowhere close. Come on, y'all. Come to yourself. Come to yourself. Jesus. Yeah, he said you could have the mind of Christ. So let Christ's mind reign. Lord, glory, let Christ's mind reign in your life. Yeah, pray, 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 pray until you can't pray no more. Then stop and start praying again. Glory to God. Pray some more. Praise God. Pray, pray. In all things, give thanks. Praise God. Thessalonians said, let's pray. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Because I, 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 I can see a difference. The more I pray, oh God, the more anointed I become. Glory to God. I said, the more I pray, the more anointed I become, the more boldness I have to preach the word of God. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. He stood in your place. Oh, let me, we're going to finish reading this right quick. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Let me see here. For, uh, verse, verse 6 said, And being in the form of God, though thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion as a man, as a man, as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth. Yeah. There's no way to escape, y'all. No way to escape. I mean, this is serious business. He got up. But well, that's just the foundation. Yes, he, he wants you to get involved and carry out the work. We read in Matthew 28, praise God. He, 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 when he sent the, the, the apostles out, praise God, the disciples out, praise God, he told them to go preach. Go teach. Go lay hands on the sick that they recover. If somebody is bothered with demons, cast them out. Cast them out. Cast them out. Cast them out. <laughs> Preach the word with signs falling. Glory to God. I know we, I know we failed. I know we failed through the years. Failed through the years. And a few years back, I think we marked God. Yes, we marked God. I don't know whether definitely intention to me, they may not, they might not, not have a clear understanding, but I'm not trying to make them, make it, make it, make it look good for them. Praise God. Because if you did it, you just did it. Yes, yes, yes. Back, back some years back, praise God. But all of these laws was being passed. Yes. For those who are confused. For some of those who have demons operating their life, who will confuse their mind to make them think they're somebody who they're not. Now, God didn't make uh, 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 people with one body and then uh, to think like a different body, a different, a different species, uh, you know, like a male thinking female and female thinking male. That, 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 that's, not, that's not God's will. That's not what God wants, praise God. But, you know, I see, I see that so much different I did years ago. Yeah, yeah, back then, some of us were looking funny at people like that. But, praise God, you ought to, you ought to, you ought to get a burden. You ought to get a better to pray till a change come. Because if Jesus was here, praise God, he would cast them demons out. And they would be made whole. And there are people that are being delivered from that. They are being delivered. 
and they can be delivered. The church just got to come up to realize we have power over all the powers of the enemy. Well, what I was about to say was they lit up the White House with rainbow colors. They celebrated, they celebrated, praise God, that, that, that those with confused minds. Now, somebody had a dream some years ago that I went to jail. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to go, but you know, if I do, I would just have to go. Well, I'll get out somehow. But proclaim prayer, I'll get out. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But I have a heart for people like that. And I want you to know that if you come to me, I'll do everything I know to get you healed and delivered. Because it's not God's will. God is not a God of confusion. That's from the devil. Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, I don't know how that got in there, but it got in there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, because I have a heart for people. I want people saved, healed, and delivered. I believe in God for a mighty move of God. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Pour out your spirit, Father God. Pour out your spirit. Bring revival to Lake County. I believe you. I won't take down. I stand on the promises of your word. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing virtues. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Hallelujah. So Jesus, he conquered. Sin and death. Amen. They crucified him between the thieves, praise God. Hallelujah. And they said the soldiers, they gambled for his garment. All of this corruption and stuff going on while Jesus is dying on the cross for our sin. But one of them thieves looked over and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He said, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. He died on that cross, praise God. Before he died, praise God. Remember now, he's got your sin. He's got my sins. He got the sins of the whole world. Oh, glory, upon his shoulder. It's rested upon him. The sins of the world, y'all. And the father looked away, turned his back. So he said, how did how I know that he looked away? Because Jesus said, my God, why have thou forsaken me? He turned and looked away how Jesus was carrying my sin and dying in my place for my sin that I could have life and have it more abundantly. Ain't no time to be shucking and job. It's time to lay it all on the law altar. It's time to get on your face and cry out to God and say, God, forgive me of my sin. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me. Oh God, I've sinned. I've fallen short. Hallelujah. I am dead all I know as I could have done. Sense of omission. Sins of commission. Committing sin when you know it's wrong. Committing sin even when the Holy Ghost has spoken and says, you know that ain't right. You ought not to do that. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, well. Oh, well. I know God understands. Well, if preacher can do it, surely I can do it. Preach is not your, is not your real example. Jesus is. Yes, we are examples. But the supreme example is Jesus the Christ, the Son of God. Because people do fail. Even Paul said, I believe he talked about Damas, praise God. He's no longer with us. There's going to be a falling away, children. There's going to be a falling away. There's going to be people who have a form of godliness, but deny the power there are, praise God. You don't want to be in a place like that. I pray today, praise God, that if anybody here, praise God, that's not been active, has not been in the Bible class, praise God, I pray today that you'll make a decision. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to pray to God and ask God when I read the word, I understand it. You know, some people don't even try. They don't even try. I, I, I can't understand that. Get your amplified Bible. Get your amplified Bible. It would help you a lot. Oh, yes. And that other one, uh, what is that other one, that living translation? Living, new living translation, that'll help you a lot. 
Get them, get them to, I, I got eight or ten Bibles. Yeah. So get, get in the Word. Get in the Word. You're going to need that. That's going to be time that when you, nobody else is going to be around. Yes, 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 yes. And I just say this, praise God. During this pandemic, I believe at least seven, at least seven million people died, and they're still climbing. They said it probably might reach nine million. But there were people, praise God, in the hospital. Can you imagine? Shut off in this little room, little something with curtains around it. Praise God. Some of those people, praise God, didn't have relatives to come, a relative who couldn't come. Praise God. Some of them died there all alone. Jesus knows what that's like too, y'all. He's been there. He's been there. He's been there, praise God, praise God. When he was, just before death, when he was in the garden, the garden of Gethsemane, praise God. He knew his time was near, and he took Peter, James, and John, and he said, the disciples, and they went, praise God, to pray, to pray, to pray. And did you know what happened? These were his closest men. The Bible said they went to sleep. Well, let me back up just before that, y'all, because I say, well, anything that happened in your life, Jesus has already experienced it. Peter went, went downtown, went down to the courthouse and talked to the fellas. And uh, this is, you know, during the time of the Passover. And praise God. Peter said, you know, you know, you know, we, we need a little more money in our treasure. You know, if y'all can come up with 30 pieces of silver, I'll point them out to you. Because this was that evening, it was dark now, it's dark now, praise God. And, and, and Judas said, just come, come on with me, just follow me. And I tell you what, now when I get there, because it's almost dark, you can't see too well. They all look alike with all that stuff around them. Now the one I kiss, that's the one you're looking for. And do you know what Jesus said? He said, hi, friend. He called him friend. It's right there in your scripture. He called Judas friend, y'all. Are you there yet? Are you there? Can you call your enemy friend? He said, he told us to love our enemy. And, and, and some of us can't love our relatives. Some of us can't love our sisters, brothers in Christ. Not like we ought to. Not like we ought to. Because he said, put them above yourself. He told us to walk in humility and exalt our fellow man. So we got a lot of improving to do, y'all. I, I, I would like to take y'all with me, y'all. One day I'm going to get out of here. I would like to take y'all with me. I would. I would. Believe in me. See, I'd like to take y'all with me. Because that's a better place, y'all. There is a better place. So Jesus died, praise God. And after he died, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. His spirit man was still alive, y'all. Spirit man was still alive. And the Bible said he wasn't preached to the spirits in prison. Yeah, yeah. And after the Bible said after his resurrection, and Jesus said he became the first fruit of them that slept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first fruit, first fruit, first. Nobody at, up until that time had got up with a spirit body. Yeah, one that could walk through the walls and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know how it worked, but if he said, I believe it. So Jesus was the first one that got up, praise God, with this spirit body. You can read about it in, uh, in some a little bit in Hebrews. He talked about, praise God, he was identified with his brothers, praise God, and became the first first one of that first fruits of them that slept praise God and the Bible says and in Matthew that after his resurrection some of the saints got up and walked the streets of Jerusalem so he is the resurrection he is the resurrection he is the life praise God if you believe in and trust in him no matter what happened in this life if you're believing in him that's a better day ahead so don't get all bogged down and depressed because things are not going the way you would like for it to go I pray that everybody in this house are praying for the people in Ukraine. I would pray that you're praying. Now, they wouldn't, they wouldn't bother nobody. Some of them people have worked almost of their lifetime to have their own home, job, rearing the kids, send them to school, and all that good stuff. And overnight, change took place. Everything pretty much gone. It's a shame to look and see those buildings, just nothing but rubbish. We don't know what tomorrow holds, y'all. So don't get caught up too much in this, 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 this material stuff. Because you could have it today, it could be gone tomorrow. Even some of the people that's got a million dollar homes out in California, praise God, they wake up, praise God, and the house is on fire, burning. 
oh, I don't know how many, but just so many homes have been destroyed by water, by fire, praise God. And the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. All this stuff going to take place, marrying, giving in marriage, people having a form of God, denying the power thereof. So it's upon us. It's upon us, y'all. Let's give God our best. Let's give God our best. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he got up with all power in his hand, praise God, and he told, told us to go and preach the word of God. Hallelujah. Paul, let's deal a little bit from this man, and we'll close this out, praise God. Hallelujah. We know that most of us know the life of Apostle Paul, whose name was Saul, praise God, who was against the Christians, praise God. He was against them, praise God, because he didn't have a clear understanding. He was part of the Sanhedrin people, praise God, praise God, and they was against what Jesus was doing, praise God, but God saw some potential in this man that was working against him, and he took time out of his busy schedule and called him by name, y'all. He called him by name. He called him by name. He's speaking to somebody in this house today. He's speaking that your life be transformed. He's speaking, praise God, that, 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 that you conform to the image of his son and be a bold representative in these end times. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I lost my thought. Let's see. Hallelujah. Praise. What was I saying? Yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Okay, okay. Paul, oh yeah, Paul, praise God. God, God, God touched him and changed his life in a moment, praise God. Hallelujah. He was going to the master to get some old Christians to have them thrown in jail. But God says, look, fella, <laughs> you're in the world because of me. I have power to change your life and make you a vessel for my glory. You smart. You know a lot. I want to use you for my glory. Somebody out there, God want to use you for his glory. He want to use you for his glory. His life was transformed. Three or four, five, six, seven days, he was preaching the gospel, pure gospel, true gospel, preaching the word of God. They had to get him out of town, let him down in a basket by night to get him out of town because his Christians, they, they, they didn't know was he faking or not. They just didn't know. They said Barnabas took him by the side and began to work with him. Praise God. So they could believe in him. So Paul, I just want to touch on his life a little bit. Paul said, for me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. The brother suffered much. He, even Jesus told him that you'll suffer many things for my name's sake. But I want you to go and take the gospel to the Gentiles. Those are my people too. Not just to the Jews, but go and preach to the Gentiles. Glory to God. Somebody here today needs to go down 10th Street. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to go to Zion. Somebody needs to go to North Chicago and preach the word of God. There are those out there that are confused. Oh God, I had a dream oh, about a year ago. This mother was abusing her son in the dream. Praise God. I had to Go to and talk to her, praise God, and comfort her son. There are a lot of people, I say, that are living in that rejection, and they need help. They need guidance. They need strength. They need salvation. Glory to God. Paul said, for me to die, for me to live is Christ, but die is gain. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who gave his life for me. This brother gave it all he had, y'all. He gave it all he had. On one occasion, praise God, they beat him up, y'all. He was being rejected. He was being mocked. Just like Jesus. They beat him and left him for dead, and God restored his life if he was dead, almost dead. Got up and went on, kept preaching, y'all. You know, some of us would have went home and said, I'm done. I've heard people say that, well, I'm done. I'm done. I tried. I went to this church, and then I went to that church, and there's always somebody that, that's going to say something to throw me off because, see, you haven't been healed from your hurt. And you can't handle it. You just, you just, just can't handle it. But I want you to know that you can be made whole. You can be made whole. I will work with you. I will pray with you so you can be whole. So you can experience the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. So Jesus went and preached to the spirits in prison, praise God. We already said that. But he got up but he, and preached to the spirits in prison, praise God. And there were people after the resurrection that got up and walked the streets and went on to heaven. Let me go on with Paul here before we close this out. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm going to let Paul do a little preaching to you. And then uh, to close it out. Let's see. That's I want to go to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. That's where I want to go. Yeah, Paul's going to play bad preacher, y'all. I'm going I'm to I'm let Paul preach y'all a little bit and we'll close this out, y'all. Okay. Okay. 1 Corinthians 15 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also I have received, wherein you stand. By which also you are saved if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how Christ died for my sins according to Scripture, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to Scripture, and that he was seen of Cephas, which is Peter, and then of the twelve, and after that he was seen above five hundred brethren at once of whom the greater part remain unto the present. But, but some have fallen asleep. And after that, he was seen of James and of the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me. Listen, oh, Brother Paul. He was seen of me also as one born out of due time. I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, y'all, God, God's unmerited favor, by the grace of God, I am what I am, y'all. And by his grace, which not, by his grace, which was bestowed upon me, but not in vain, y'all. He was not in vain. He moved in the will of God. He was thankful that God thought enough of him to call him out. So he could be saved. Praise God is speaking to somebody's heart right now. Praise God. So you can be saved. You can be healed. You can be delivered. You can get your joy back. Because he's speaking to you. What, what did I stop? What verse was that? What verse was that? Ten. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay. Eleven says, therefore, whether it, therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach and so we believe. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how says some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then our teaching, our preaching is in vain. Our faith is vain if Christ didn't get up. Yea, and we have found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. You are yet in your sin. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ perish. If in this life only we have hope, if in this life we only have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. That's a greater day ahead. That's a brighter day ahead. Hey, glory. In the presence of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says he seated. After, you know, after he got up, after he gave his last instruction, he went out on the mountain, praise God, and way bye-bye. The one was caught up and went up into the heaven, and the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Not only is he seated there, y'all, but the Bible says he's praying for you. He's praying, making an intercession for you. How, how are you going to lose? How are you going to live in depression? You can't live in depression and Jesus praying for you. I said you can't live in depression if Jesus praying for you. All you need to do is say yes, hallelujah, glory to God, and rise up out of your depression. Oh, the God. Glory. Now is Christ risen from verse 20. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. He's the first one got up with a resurrected body. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For in Adam all die, all that is. Even so in Christ all were made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterwards they that are in Christ are his coming. Then cometh the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all enemies on his feet, y'all. The last enemy that shall be destroyed 
is death. Death. He's going to destroy death. Yeah, glory. And not only that, but Revelation, I believe it's, I believe it's 118. He says, he had the keys, y'all. He took the keys away from Satan. He had the keys. He unlocked the door. That's how those saints got out and made the walk through Jerusalem. Because they were being helped in paradise because the perfect sacrifice hadn't take place. The animal sacrifice didn't do it. But when Jesus gave his life on that cross, died, took the dominion back from Satan, and you see, the sacrifice wasn't, de- wasn't, wasn't completed until he appeared before the Father. That's why he told Mary, don't touch me yet, Mary. I am not sent it to the Father yet. He was that perfect sacrifice. And when he went and appeared before the Father and showed him his hands, the nail prints in his hand and in his feet, that meant blood had been shed. Without the shedding of blood, sin can't be moved. There had to be a sin offering. He was that sin offering. The guy who wrote Hebrews, I don't I like to call him Paul. I don't, don't say who wrote it. He don't say. Glory. But the earthly priest, the earthly priest, praise God, that went in, praise God, took an offer for his sin and an offer for the sin for the people. Yeah. Glory to God. And he really had to go before God because, you see, if he went in there without an unconfessed sin, the Bible teaches that he would fall dead. They put a chain on him just in case because they couldn't go in there. And put a chain on the foot to pull him out just in case he felt dead. Hey, glory. But, but, but the writer of Hebrews said, we have a great high priest who can be touched with the fear of our infirmity. Like I said, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you've been through. Jesus have sympathy for you. He loves you so much. I wish you could just realize how much he loves you. Go glory. He loves you so much. You can leave here today and say, I know somebody loves me. Well, you got, you got two for sure, and that's Jesus and me that love you. God put it in my heart. I, I put it in my heart. I, I, I'm a pastor, y'all. I'm not an evangelist trying to be a pastor. I'm a true pastor. He put it in my heart to love people. Yes, I've experienced rejection in my life. I've been ridiculed. I've been talked about. Glory to God. I, I, I had 30 days to get out to Parsons. I had a picture painted on the wall, praise God, that the Indian lady had of me, praise God. They even took my picture and put it in heart. I'm still standing. I still love Jesus. I've been mocked. I've been talked about. I've been on the front lines in the paper. What they, they, well, I forgot that title I on that, in that paper, something about Pastor something. Austin, yeah. Pastor Austin, headlines in the, in the, in the Waukegan paper. Yeah, yeah. Now, they, they didn't throw me out throw for, 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 They didn't throw me out because I did some evil. They threw me out because I was doing some good. Yeah, yeah. Folks were getting saved, getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Even people came down the aisle had been members of the church for years because they didn't, they didn't have a personal relationship with God. It's important that you have a personal relationship with God. It's important. Don't just be religious. That stuff ain't no good. That's just a farm to something. You just, you just follow some rules and regulations. You need a personal relationship with my God. Oh, glory, glory. Don't let this resurrection be in vain. Glory. What effects has the risen Christ had upon your life? There will be some changes. Yes. You ought to be laying aside every sin, every way, and everything that says you ought to be running this race with patience. You ought to be running this race with patience. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father, for speaking to your people on this resurrection day. I pray that somebody's heart has been touched. Lord, I pray for those who are watching at home. I pray for those, oh God, who may be in a foreign land. I pray for my brother, Brother Kirk in Atlanta, if he's watching today, oh God. I pray for those in the Waukegan area watching from home, God. I pray, Lord God, that every need is being met, the sick is being healed, the oppressed is being delivered. I ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask it in the mighty name. Name of Jesus. Just stand on your feet, everybody, if you can. Hallelujah. And begin 
to give your God some praise. Thank him for speaking to your heart. Thank him for speaking to your heart. Hallelujah. And glory to God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Father God. We love you, Father God. We love you, Father God. We love your Holy Spirit. We love your Holy Spirit. You came to live in us. You came to minister through us. Oh, God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way in my life. Ooh. Have your way. We crowd to you, today, God. We crowd for America. We crowd for Ukraine. Bless our lead, oh God, cover with your blood. Remember that old lady, God, who said she wasn't going anywhere, Lord. I touch and agree with her. She believed in you to bring deliverance to Ukraine. I stand in agreement with the Lord God. I stand in agreement with that mother. Lord, you see. You see, Lord. We know we have examples in the Bible. God, what you just called a sound. And the enemy took off running. God, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it and leave blessed behind. Oh, yes, but in fact, y'all leave them some kind of blessing. All them old tanks, they can take them to the junkyard and get some yeah. money for them. Yeah. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I believe, praise God, that they will, they will get delivered. I believe they will, praise God, and, uh, and that the, the nations, uh, all of the nations will come together and help them rebuild. Wouldn't that be a blessing? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a mighty blessing? To see the hand of God at work. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We're going to pray the sinner's prayer for those at home or wherever you are. And I want you to know, praise God, if you make, if you make a confession of Christ today, praise God, you can pull it up on, uh, online there and, uh, and, and, and let us know that you accepted Christ, praise God, and we will respond back and praise God and take you uh, through other areas, other things, uh, Lord, and get you, get you saved, baptized, and whatever else that you need. Praise God. If you're a Christian, praise God. Our doors are open for you to become a part of this ministry if that is your desire. Now we appeal to those here today in Mount Moriah, praise God. If you're a sinner, he can save you right now. If you're a backslider, he can reclaim you. If you're a saint who just needs the strength of God, praise God. If you're depressed and need some inner healing, we, God can do all of that for you right here today. Glory to God. The door is open for you to come if you so desire. If you're a Christian or not a pastor, come. We will gladly watch for your soul. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Who will stand against the Lord? Yeah. No one can. No one. No one. No one will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Who will stand against the king? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one can. No one can. No one will. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God.